Hey there, Free Family. What is going on? I am eager to jump into God's Word with you guys today because I have a truth in here that I think is going to be super applicable to you guys because I know it was super applicable to me. So open your Bibles up to John chapter 12. I'm going to be starting in verse 42. And right before this, John addresses some reasons why people did not believe in Jesus. But it goes on to say this, Nevertheless, many did believe in Him even among the rulers. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, so that they would not be banned from the synagogue. For they loved human praise more than praise from God. And this truth is so true to my life because I grew up in a Christian home. I knew who Jesus was. But when I would get around my friends, I didn't want to confess that I went to church. I didn't want to confess that I believed in Jesus. I was afraid that if people knew I believed in Jesus, I'd be kicked out of the social group that I was in. I'd be kicked out of the synagogue, quote unquote. And I cared about my popularity and my appearance, so I didn't want to confess Jesus. And maybe some of you guys can feel that same way today. Like, yeah, I want to go to heaven. I want to love Jesus. But when it comes to sharing my faith, I just don't feel led to. My faith is between me and God. But I want to challenge you guys today. If your faith is a true faith, it's a faith that you want to share. It's a faith that you want to give to other people because you know it has life, eternal life. And the second thing I want you guys to get from this is that currently we live in a world all about human praise. We live in the social media generation where it's all about the likes, the comments, the views, the followers. And get this, there's nothing wrong with giving somebody a compliment or receiving a compliment. We should encourage each other. But the problem comes is when you begin to love human praise more than you love the praise from God. If people and their opinions are starting to drive what you do, your attitudes, then that's when you got to check yourself. And look, if you're always trying to please people, it's going to get tiring. It's going to get exhausting because get this, people are never pleased. But when you seek to please God and you seek his approval, you're going to have no greater blessing, no greater joy, no greater love than to know that you are doing the will of your Father in heaven. So I want to challenge you guys in your faith today. Don't be ashamed that you're a follower of Jesus. Proclaim it from the mountaintops. Let people know and just know as you seek to do the will of God, you're going to see that he delights in you and that he is just going to lavish his pleasure all over you. So I love you guys. I challenge you guys and we will see you guys soon.